So again, hello and welcome everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is um, Ahmed Samir. I'm part of the digital services team here in Pearson, Dubai. And today I'm super excited to introduce for you, for those who don't know uh, my lab math, and for those who've seen my lab math uh, before, I'm going to share some of the new updated features on the platform and will be an interactive tool as well. We'll run like an online session through the learning catheters, uh, as well as uh, will be an online demo after that. Uh, so I will sh share with you some of the amazing tools inside the MyLab Math that can help both the instructor and student, an instructor with the teaching tools and a student with the learning uh, material that available on the MyLab Math. I can see a question on the chat. Is this uh, about the MyLab uh, or the math test? No, unfortunately, it's a different product. We can run another session for my math test, but this session, particularly for the my lab math, uh, the other my math test is a placement test. It's a different tool, uh, but today we are going to uh, talk about the my lab math. So while I'm going with my session, it will be great if you can share with us on your chat your first name, last name, uh, your university, country, and the courses that you teach. And it would be great as well if you can tell us, have you ever used My Lab Math before? Or this will be your first time to see My Lab Math. Uh, some housekeeping, uh, this session will be recording. Uh, we will share with you the recording after the, after the session. And uh, we will share with you a certificate of attendance as well. Plus, we will put you in touch with our uh, key account manager if you would like to run a pilot for the MyLab Math. Um, and uh, without start, uh, without like further ado, I'm going to uh, share my screen. I start with my PowerPoint, but before that, I would love to thank my colleagues, uh, Avin and Taha, the marketing team here in Pearson uh, Middle East with the amazing, amazing work that they did uh, to make this webinar live. Thank you so much, Taha and uh, Aveen. And let's uh, start with the pool questions. So it would be great, Taha, if you can share some of the pool question on the screen. And please have like a second, one minute or so to answer those questions. First question, have you heard or used my lab math before this webinar? Yes or no? Have you heard or no from uh, uh, the university or other uh, places about the my lab math? Currently, do you use any learning management system, LMS, like Moodle, Blackboard, Canvas, U2L, or any other LMS with your university or, or uh, school? And how do you use the learning management system with the student? Do you give them homework, assignment? Uh, do you use it for grades, etc.? So uh, maybe we can wait one more minute and then we'll see the answers. Yes, no. I, I can see the majority on my screen here that uh, most of you have heard about the MyLab math uh, before. You can write on the chat as well. Have you heard about the learning catalytics tool, which is one of the new tools that are available inside the MyLab Math? You can write the, the, the answer on the chat here. Have you used it with your student, the MyLab Math and the learning catalytics? So I can see the majority of answers are here. Yes, you have heard or used the MyLab Math, like. Uh, 57 percent, 43 no, which is great. So the, today I will introduce for uh, for you the my lab math from the very first beginning, and I can see the majority using the learning management system, which is great. And the reason of that that we can integrate actually the my lab math inside your learning management system. So if you use the learning management system, uh, it would be great to use the my lab math from inside the the 
the university or the school learning management system. And you use it before with your student to assess them online. That is amazing. Thank you so much for answering the questions. Uh, okay, that, that's great as well. Thank you. Uh, I can see all the questions here on the, on the chat. So feel free to type any question. Even while I'm sharing my screen, Taha, my colleague, can help me and uh, share with me any of the questions that you are writing on the chat box. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Tara, Taha. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and you probably will see my PowerPoint right now. Let's see if you can. Yes, we can see Ahmed. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, with my lab math, it, uh, together we drive the digital learning with so many tools that will be super helpful for the instructor and the students. Let's give you a background and some data about the my lab math. As you can see here, we cover almost 36 course area for developmental math, pre-calculus, calculus, and different area for mathematics on my lab math with different courses and different titles. Uh, so we almost like 90% of the coverage of uh, my lab uh, of math courses on the my lab math platform uh, available for you and your student. And definitely after the session, we'll put you in touch with the key account manager for your university, your uh, country, and he or she will give you um, the right title that can match your course area. We have more than 2.7 million registered learners and students on our platform using the MyLab Math and more than 10,000 institutions around the globe in the US and outside North America using the MyLab Math uh, platform. One of the very key product for Pearson. And as you all know, it's a service course. Everyone must study uh, math in the university, whether engineering school, science, uh, business school, art, or any other. Now, let's move to the very important next point some of the challenges that you may face with your student while teach, teaching the math courses. It will be great as well if you can share this on the chat. What are the challenges that you may face with your student while teaching the math course? And see, uh, here on my slide, we already captured some of the challenges or the common challenges from uh, some instructors based on survey and meetings with the instructors uh, that face while teaching the, the math course. First of all, as you saw from the previous uh, slide, it's a huge number of students in this course. So it's very difficult to find the personalized learning environment for every single uh, student in this course. In some universities, we found uh, thousands of students in the, let's say the pre-calculus course, and sometimes 10,000 students in Saudi, in one of the biggest universities in Saudi, they have 10,000 students in one single course. So it's really very difficult for the instructor to find the personalized learning environment and give every single student a dedicated personalized learning tools according to his or her strengths and weaknesses in this course. So one of the key common challenge for teaching the math course is personalization. Low math skills, we found like a gap between the school and the university. When the student joined the university, especially in year one from the school, uh, they struggle a little bit with the math skills and um, they don't have a, a tool to practice and enhance their math performance uh, for year one. This is another key challenge that we found. Motivation for the student, we know that there are different types, motivation, conception, understanding. Both of them are linked to each other. How to motivate the student while teaching some numbers uh, on mathematics. So how they see the numbers, how they virtual uh, understand the the concept, the learning objectives and learning outcomes. 
data and analytics, of course, link it to the previous all uh, four challenges, how to monitor the student performance and know the strengths and weaknesses, the common challenge area, how to add my own notes, how to create a personalized learning environment. So how can I know from the data where is the most area that my student struggling with? Uh, so this is from our experience, we found that the most common challenges uh, for the student who take the math courses. In the chat, you can write if you see more challenges from the courses that you uh, teach. And let's see together how my lab math will help you to overcome those challenges. Now, my lab math, it's a, for those who don't know the my lab math from an instructor perspective, it's a course management system that can help you create assignment, track the student progress, download the instructor resources and customize and tailor this course according to your course outline or course syllabus. Uh, from a student perspective, it's a homo tutorial and assessment system, which will be personalized in power to each learner and tailored according to each specific student need. It's a pl very flexible platform where you can customize the content, even changing the author ex uh, question and exercise, and definitely powered by a trusted author content and digital tools. Some of the digital tools are available online and offline, and some of them available online, like the, uh, the Pearson eText. It comes with an offline application that student can practice offline without the internet. Here is the app for the Pearson eText. Student can highlight some part, leave notes, bookmark some pages, and this will automatically synchronize to the student view when you do it from the instructor view. It's an amazing tool. A student can study and read from anywhere, any device, and from any, at any time. Now, Let's answer some of the common challenge uh, points that we uh, mentioned together on the previous slide about personalized learning. We do have a self-study engine inside the MyLab Math. As you can see here, there are a pre-test and post-test for each chapter. Each chapter will have a pre and post-test. In the middle, we'll have the study plan. This is what we called it the self-study engine for the student before, during, and after the class assessment tool. Maybe after I attend chapter two, I want to study on chapter two. So I, I will open the pre-test here, take 20 questions, submit them, and the system automatically will grading them and give me the feedback through the study plan. Will highlight for me the strengths and weaknesses by chapter, by section, and even by learning object or mastery point and will tell me where the area that I need to study more in this area. And then I will open the study plan, start answering the question, got a, an amazing learning aids and helping tools. We will see it. And after that, I will take the post test, which is the advanced level uh, to check again my understanding of this chapter. And this is how the system will be personalized and solve this problem for um, the instructor while teaching this course to a big number of students, or even if a, a small number of students, I cannot sit with every single student and give him or her a tailored feedback according to their answers. So with that a study plan on the homework, as you can see, the system automatically we check the mistake for uh, for the student check the answer with the algorithmic question and give the student immediately feedback about his or her answer what well, if i'm struggling with solving this problem the system will open for me the learning aids as you can see here get more help on the study plan and that's why it will be personalized uh when i Check answer, it will give me immediately uh, feedback about my answer and give me a, a, a dedicated way to solve this problem without giving me the final answer. But if I'm still struggling, I can click get more help. It will open for me, help me to solve this. View an example. Help me to solve this will simplify for me the question into several parts and help me to give me an idea, give me tips uh on how to solve this problem 
or I can click view an example. It will give me another example of the question with different variables that can help me to solve this question. Or I can open the video, uh, which will be recorded and shared by the author team to guide me on how to solve this problem. Or even I can click the Pearson e-text and it will take me directly to the same page of the book that I need to read in order to understand and try to solve my question. And finally, I can ask my instructor online if I still is struggling on solving this problem. An instructor tip. This is a new feature that we added to our custom question or even the author question that you can add your instructor tip inside the question here. You can add a tip for the student like a feedback or hint that can help the student to solve this problem, which is really a great tool of communication that uh, you can add it to, to the student who struggle to solve this question. So this is one of the updated features that available on the, uh, on the MyLab Math that help the student who has the low math skills while trying to solve any of the problems. Show work amazing new feature to stop student cheating. Um, in the question itself, on the custom question, I can show it to you online. There is an option to click student to show work. Student must prove their work and they can, must, uh, they can prove it in different way. They can write by freehand where using the keyboard or they can type or they can draw or they can upload the image from their desktop direct to the question here. Uh, to prove their work. And you can monitor the, the show work submission and maybe divide the weight of the score, 50% on the final answer and 50% on the show work, etc. which is really a great tool to stop student cheating. So here, the, the full chapter study plan based on ch uh, chapters, sections, and even by learning objectives will be available for the student. Yeah, the study plan, as I mentioned before, will be set up into three main tools. Pre-test, the first one, the uh, companion uh, study plan, and then the post-test as a step number three for the student. Immediately feedback for the student when they answer the question. It might be uh, about the right or wrong answer in the final exam, in the quiz. But when the student, when it comes to practice, a student need guidance, a student need um, a hand to help them solve this question. So here, when the student check, click check answer, system will give them immediately feedback uh, about their answer. Conceptual understanding. We have more than 350 figures, interactive figures available on the MyLab Math for the student to visualize the numbers or visualize the graphs, even on 3D. So when I, I move the, uh, the interactive figures from here for two or six, it will impact immediately the graph on front of my screen. And you can see that clearly on the next slide here. And you can add this to the assignment. So interactive figures can be added to the assignment, as you can see here. Uh, I add this one, when I change the A sign and B sign and C sign automatically will impact the graph in front of my screen. So amazing tool for the virtual student or kinesthetic student who would love to learn by seeing the numbers or imagining the numbers. So from here, when I change A or B, automatically it will impact the graph in front of my screen. This is an example of the interactive figures and now can be added to the question. Another one, which is the new GeoGebra platform where it's added to the MyLab Math. Uh, student can draw the graph here using the drawing tool uh, and the system automatically will grading this. You will see that and the system will compare uh, the student answer to the correct answer. When I uh, draw using the GeoGebra here, it's correct. And, uh, and mention for me the possible solution. 
Another type, I can draw the graph uh, using the drawing tool here on my screen. And I can click Submit after I finish drawing the graph. And the system automatically will grading this uh, using the GeoGebra. And this is a new feature which will come this summer. Uh, so you might use it in the summer course or the here, as you can see, automatically the system will grading this. Uh, you can use it with the summer course or beginning of the full semester. So here I can change the graph, draw the graph and make uh, two graphs at the same time. Here on the right hand side of the graph and add another one on the other corner here and then add different one on the upper side of the screen and then submit and the system automatically will grading this. So this is a new tool that will be available on the GeoGebra and on the MyLab Math. So a student can see the interactive figures in some uh, examples on 3D, as you can see here on the graph. And when they change the sine cosine uh, x to the y, it will flip on 3D and show them uh, the graph here with the calculus course. Now let's move on to inside the class, how to motivate and engage the student inside the class. We have an amazing tool for motivation called learning catalytics. This tool, student can use it with uh, their cell phone, tablet, uh, laptop, or any device. Once you start the session, the student can start answering the question. You can lead a synchronous type of question to your student and start submitting the question one by one. A student will take them. Um, this question can be the one of 19 different type of question like sketching, drawing, data collection, direction, or many different type of question and the system automatically will grading this. You can use it with a blended learning online or you can use it inside the class to uh, make sure that the student understand the concept inside the class before they go home or uh, use it for motivation for the student, engage them and post for them some uh, engagement question. Now, during the session, I'm going to share with you this QR code. You can scan it with uh, your mobile right now or go to this link, www learningcatalyticsasoneword.com slash demo. And when you go there, uh, enter your first name, last name, your email address, and this session ID. Taha, if you can write on the chat the session ID 13337802. This is the session ID. You can... Uh, Try learning catalytics right now from your cell phone. Just uh, scan this QR code or just go to the link learningcatalytics.com uh, slash demo and enter your information. I'm going to share that on my screen right now. And Taha as well, you can share the link on the chat. It will be great. Uh, so everyone can copy this link. Let's exit the PowerPoint and I'm going to go to the link here. Just go to learningcatalytics.com or scan the QR code and enter your information. First name, last name, email address, agree here and click start. And the system will ask you about the session ID. Just create, enter the session ID that I created uh, and then click join. And you will be placed on the session now start answering some of the questions. I add eight different type of questions. Some of them fill the space here. Uh, I can write the answer and click submit. And I can see uh, the, the answer in front of my screen. Second question is drawing. So you can try this one, draw the graph here and submit and the system will give me the correct answer. So um, maybe I will have another trial with this one. Uh, 
or I can communicate with my instructor. Just enter the message here and share it with the instructor online. Or the next question, another question, just place the dot on the correct place on this graph. Maybe uh, I will add it here, the dot, and click Submit. So this will go here, and the correct submission was in this area, not here. So I draw a wrong one. Another type of questions. Ah, oh, yeah, here, like numerical. So I will add the number 18 and click Submit. And I can see here is the correct answer, which is minus 0.95. Different type of question like uh, MCQ. So I'm going to agree. And that was correct answer here. Uh, I can see. Another one highlighting. So this is according to research um, in some universities, they mentioned that this is improved the critical thinking skills for the student. This is a new type of questions and answer that we added on learning catechetics. Student must highlight the correct answer. So I need to read and I can highlight. You can try it yourself and then click submit the response and the system automatically will grading this as well and tell me which one is the correct answer. Another type of question, uh, numerical. So I will change the number here. And then click Submit to sort them. Finally, like they say question, I will write my answer and click Submit. So very, very easy, as you can see, to set up and deliver the question. There are a huge bank of, of resources available on learning catechetics. You can create your own question using the one of the 19 uh, different question set up on the catechetics. You can use the Pearson content or the community contributed content that available on the learning catechetics. So I hope you enjoyed the learning catechetics questions. And please, if you would like to try it, uh, let us know and um, our key account manager will uh, share with you the access for learning catechetics. You can use it inside the class and the student can access it from any device, from mobile, from laptop, from tablet, from any device. You can just scan the QR code and access the learning catechetics from there. Finally, before I go to the online demo, uh, is the data anal analytics. So here, data and analytics, one of the key challenges for the instructors. I'm sorry, here. Yeah, data and analytics, one of the key challenge to know my uh, student, where they are struggling at, and they consume a lot of time from the instructor, grading the homework, giving the feedback, share the score with the student, download the report, etc. On the my lab math, easily you can go to gradebook and the system automatically will generate so many reports. A student performance by assignment or performance by chapter, or you can run a, a performance analytic report to segment, add segmentation for the student, student at risk, student met expectation and high performance student. And this can be easily downloaded to your desktop once you click export data, the system automatically uh, download the report into uh, your desktop. So I think now it's uh, the time for the online demo. I'm going to exit this PowerPoint right now. Just one second. Yeah here and I'm going to go to the my lab math platform here this is the my lab mastering platform uh, you can go to mlm.pearson.com this is the place where you will access the math courses and click sign in it will take you direct to this page you need the username and password definitely our account manager can help you with this uh, once you click sign in, easily you can see all the courses listed here. 
So today I'm going to open Thomas Calculus here. Uh, so on Thomas Calculus title, I can see uh, all the chapter content from a student view. On the chapter content itself, I can see the pre-test and post-test, which will be available for the student, where we called it the self-study engine. So I can see them listed here. This is the pre-test and the post-test uh, that will be available for the student for each chapter. I can open the study plan from here. And on the study plan, this will be tailored according to each specific student need. Based on the mastery point that I choose them for this title to my student. For example, for this title, we do have 808 uh, mastery point. I choose them for my student uh, based on the chapter section and uh, learning objectives that I'm going to deliver for my student. I can open all chapters and here I, the system automatically based on my answer can tell me where are the area when I see this pointer that I need to focus on study more and more uh, in this area and where are the mastery point that I already achieved when I see this graduation hat. Uh, so for example, let's open one of the chapter here and open some one of the questions to show you. When the student try to practice with the study plan, what are the learning tools and learning aids that can help the student study using this uh, course? Here, I can write the answer, check the answer, and go feedback about my answer here. Uh, this is one of the very important tools. I can open the Help Me Solve This, as we mentioned the PowerPoint previously, and the system will simplify for me the question and give me another chance to solve this problem. And when I enter a wrong answer, it will give me another great feedback about my answer. I can also view an example with different variable and uh, it will show me here how the structure of this question in different parts. Also, I can open the Pearson e-text from inside the question, and it will take me direct to the same page of the book where I need to read in order to understand and try to solve this problem. Okay, so this is the study plan. And here on the Pearson Plus, this will be available online and offline for the student. It took me direct to chapter one functions. Uh, section 1.1, I need to read this part in order to understand this and try to solve the problem. Now let's move on to the student resources, multimedia library, uh, which has the interactive figure, the animation, the PowerPoint for the student and the multimedia textbook. So I can select all of them or one of them uh, and I can select the chapter or I can select all of them from here and click find system automatically will show me resources. The interactive field, I can open one of them similar to the one we had on. So here, interactive figure using when I drag and drop this, it will impact so now I have the number here. I can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, if I want to change anything on the equation here, it will automatically impact my graph. So 1 over 14, and this will automatically impact the graph. When I drag and drop this, this as well will be immediately appear on my graph. I can zoom in here to show it to you in different view. So we have more than 350 interactive figures uh, available for the student for each chapter. They can open the GeoGebra from here and they can open the animation or the video examples for the author uh, 
they can uh, play with this graph and using the tools that are available to draw the graph on the animations. So here is another example of the animation. I'll show it to you. Let's open the sound here on my... Sorry, I'm going to share that again. And here I will play the sound. Yeah, share the sound. You can hear from... Using the horizontal line test. We'll use the horizontal line test to determine whether the graphs in these figures are graphs of one-to-one -one functions. Recall that no two ordered pairs that belong to a one-to-one -one function may have the same y-coordinate. And therefore, no horizontal line will intersect the graph of a one-to-one -one function more than once. Let's consider the function pictured in the first figure. We draw a horizontal line through the graph as shown. Notice it may be difficult to decide whether a function is one-to-one -one just by looking at the equation that defines the function. The horizontal so line test is on the graph of the, of the function plus the author uh videos that will be available for each chapter here the author will explain for the student by or one of the author team will explain for the student by handwriting in the whiteboard how to solve this problem definite integral which is amazing as if a private text. tutor will help the student to overcome the challenge of uh, uh lack of skills for mathematics so they can practice here yes of course, the only thing remarkable about this is I have an irrational one plus square root two. So in any case, three to the one plus square root two. Now, so as you can see from this example, uh, the author, the author team, explained to the student how to solve the problem by handwriting. Power. Otherwise, this is simply an ordinary power function. So it's now making sense technically because of our definition, a definite integral, and then our definition of the anti-differentiate. We can simply use the power rule here. And so we have square root two plus this one. Will, all of this resources will be available for the student, plus two tools of success will be available here for the student GeoGebra. Here I can create the GeoGebra. Uh, I can use the graph calculator. Uh, I can download some of the uh, resources that are available for me here as a student to review. This is the math card. Uh, I can download this and export it uh, to my desktop. Now to the instructor view, I'm going to sign out from this account and use different account here uh where i can customize the question and create a different custom question or using the author question so here on this account i can just go to course tools create assignment and i'm going to create assignment for my student uh this assignment could be homework quiz or test from here, I'm going to create the assignment, give it the name, maybe homework number four. Next, choose the chapter. Very easy to choose from any chapter. Let's say chapter five, section 5.4. And I can add additional test bank question to my selection. And maybe I will use this question here, this question and this question. What if I want to see the question before selection? Just over over the question here. Or you can open the question and select from inside. And now I can show you the amazing feature of a uh, student to show work. Here, it's an algorithmic question, which will as well change the variable for every single student. And this is the updated feature where you can add the instructor tip uh, to the student uh, as an important note and click save and this step will come up to the student to solve this question now the correct answer is a but i don't want the student to copy the correct answer from each other i want them to prove their work 
And that's why we had the feature student to show work, which I will show it to you from the student view. A student can type, can draw, can upload the image to prove their work. Even, so I, I, I like this question I'm going to add. Even you can click copy and edit this question. I can click copy and edit and open the uh, editor tool where I can change anything in the question. Uh, so when I open the question builder, I can change the, the question format, the answer. Maybe this would be the correct answer. And even here on the question, I can add anything to, I can add anything to my question. Uh, and I can change the algorithmic information from here for this question. Uh, add the algorithm and see the algorithm value. I can add graph to this question. Just add the graph X, uh, axis or Y axis or any type of axis, add it here and it choose the graph and add it inserted to your question. Um, you can add numerical line, pie chart, change, add external figure. So you can even customize and change the author question from here. Once you're happy about this, click save, and this will be added as a custom question to your selection here. So it will be added as a custom question to this chapter, and uh, you can just save it. And this will be added to your custom question. So I can see if I want to see the custom question, it will be added here, the custom question to my list. And I can add any question as well from the custom question and add it to my selection. Now I can change the chapter, go to chapter 12 section 12.3 and even I can filter by a certain objective and here I can add some question to my homework now I'm happy with this homework I'm going to click save and next choose the due date this assignment will be available till maybe this weekend end of the week and then click save and assign now let's see it from a student view uh, go to the course on page and you have access definitely to the student view. So you can click view student view from here. And here is homework week number four available right now. And I can see on the calendar as well. And do you remember the question where we add uh, SW stands for show work? So we require the student must approve their work from here. I can open this question, start answering the question. Which one is the correct? Plus here the instructor tip where I add it to my student, choose the answer, prove my work, and I can prove the work by different ways, by drawing, by typing, or by insert an image. Maybe I will choose one of the image and insert it here and uh, add comment to this image and then click save. My instructor will review the save work and can add manually the score for that uh, if I prove that I got it correct. I can check answer and got uh, feedback as this homework and I can save that and work later on on this assignment. But with the quiz and test, you have only one time uh, to answer this question. Let's create maybe test right now. And I will show you another amazing feature which will help you to choose from different variety of questions. Now I'm going to create test for my student. Choose test one or test number three. Here, give it a name. Choose from the content, maybe chapter 11, section 11.2. And this particular objective, or maybe another one here, I will select all of the eight questions, but I will not add. I will click pool which will enable the system randomly to take one of them and give it to my student. Out of this A question, we'll have only one question in the test. And I can add different section from different chapter here. And maybe I will select all of them and click pool. Now that it will come with different color here, section two. Now the system automatically will select one question from this section and second question from the second section and so on. 
So I can change the chapter again, choose from by section, choose by objective here, select all of them and add the pool. Now it will be added here. And now I, I have three questions on my test. Pearson will give you an amazing option variety of changing the whole source. If I'm teaching from Thomas Calculus, I can change the entirely book and choose from any title that comes with my lab math, like Adams, like um, Barnett, or any title that comes with my lab math. From here, I can choose from chapter, section, and select some of the questions from here and add it to my pool. So now I have four questions. And again and again, I can choose from Lyell, from Briggs, similar title, amazing title for calculus. I'm going to choose this one, choose from chapter, section, and uh, maybe minimize to a certain objective and click pool. So you have different variety and Pearson will give you access to the title that comes with my lab math to choose question from. Uh, after that, click save to the next step and go to the due date. This test will be available only tomorrow. A due, due time will be 1 p.m. And even I can require password number of attempt definitely one and allow timer only 20 minutes and show time remaining is crumpled the question it's automatically will be pulled but i can add all of this option even i can require password for this test and then click save and assign and this test will be added automatically to my student at any time i can unassign edit copy delete or print with the answer sheet so I can print all the question with the answer. Let's see it from a student view. So go back to the course home page, go to student view. And here on my calendar, I can see that tomorrow will be the due date for this test, test three. Now I will enter the password, enter the test. It remind me that only 20 minutes for this test and five random questions out of each pool will be selected for me i'm going to start the test right now try to answer some of the questions uh, like this question here it's a graph i will maximize this and see the the different answer i'm going to choose here from section one section two and here write the answer and then go to the next question. I can use, as you can see, any of the math tools, write a full equation using all the math symptoms from here, like to the power, phi, infinity, or any uh, using any of the tools for mathematics to build uh, or to answer any of the equation question. I can see time remaining on my screen, 19 minutes and nine seconds. Here, next question, I'm going to answer this and or I'll change and add the value and then go to the next question, one more here and add the answer. Next final question, and I'm going to submit to show you the impact on the study plan. Uh, so here I will submit the, the question and the system will save a huge amount of your time. With the data analytics, which we, we will see it shortly from the grade book, will show you all the details about the student date of work, time spent, and the score. Which one is wrong, which one is right, which one is not attempt. Plus the system will be personalized. It will advise the student to go to the next step to the study plan. And the result or the answer of the student immediately will impact all the chapter result and will show the graph here or show the pointer next to the chapters that they need to, to study because they're struggling on those points and even with the section. 
So I need to study on this area. I can open a similar question to what I have failed on the test and I can practice here, but the tools will be available, the learning aids like I can check answer, got immediately feedback about my answer, which is one of the super powerful tool on the MyLab Math. Um, I can choose, help me to solve this, view an example, etc. Final part for me today is the gradebook before uh, also the uh, instructor resources will be available here. But gradebook, you can track the student performance, which will overcome the challenge of uh, writing the, got the student data, grading the homework, write the grades for the student. You can see all the roster for all the student. Right now, I have only one student in this course. I can review his or her answer from here. Let's see the question that comes with the show work. So I can add on the top of the question some of my instructor note uh, to my student. And I can change the grade manually from here. I can review the work where the student submitted here. And I can add my comment and click Save. And this will go direct to my student. I can go back to the gradebook, track the student performance by assignment or performance by chapter, which is my favorite part. I can see all the chapters and all the allocated assignment with the average score. And I can export the data offline, actually. Select any type of data, maybe an overview about all my student performance. In CSV file, I can got this in Excel sheet uh, with all the student results uh, on this course. Finally, on the gradebook, I can see the performance analytic preview, which will show me student at risk, student met expectation and high performance student. So it will classify my student into three main uh, segments and can send me an early alert report about the student where they are struggling. So here, low performing, at expectation and high performing students. Last part, but not least, is the instructor resources. The My Lab Math powered by the instructor teaching resources, which will help you teaching this course, like the PowerPoint, instructor manual, test bank resources, and some uh, videos. You can just click PowerPoint from here, choose the chapter, and choose the section, and download the PowerPoint to your desktop. And this PowerPoint will be downloaded direct to your desktop. And you can access the, the PowerPoint offline. So here, I download the PowerPoint. It will be open easily to my desktop. Very, very rich, powerful PowerPoint by our trusted author uh, content. I think that's pretty much my lab math. It's very easy, very straightforward, updated with so many amazing uh, features that can help you teaching this course and can help the student learning with this and will engage the student as well uh, with, the, with the math courses. Yeah, very good question. I can see it here on the chat, how to use the media part when, when you create the assignment. This is amazing question. Thanks for asking. Uh, when I create the assignment, let's say homework for my questions and give it a name, homework for, uh, you will find media here. I'm going to choose chapter one. And here I can see the media question. This is the graph question. This is the interactive question. This is the video example and different other uh, type of question. I can add them. Uh, now student must study and open the interactive figure while uh, taking this assignment. You can easily choose the media question from here, whether it's uh, animation, interactive figure with the graph like this one, and you can assign that direct to your student. Very good question, thank you. Yeah, yeah. how can I add the uh, um, additional question or micro uh, lectures uh, to my student? You can add your custom question, by the way, or add uh, your own media. As you can see here, you can add URL, or add your own media and uh, add external media to the system 
or create your own custom question from scratch, build using the question builder, and then add external thing to your student or your uh, course material. Very good question. Thank you for asking, Dr. Muhammad. Okay, uh, we still have three mi more minutes. It will be great if you can uh, share your feedback, your thoughts, your comment on the chat here, or uh, Taha will share with you a link for survey. It will be great. Thanks, Taha, uh, to hear your feedback, uh, uh, as well as we will share with you the recording of this session. We'll share with you certificate of attendance. If you have any question on the last minute, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. And again, thank you so much for my colleague, uh, Avin and um, Taha for preparing for this webinar. Thanks a lot. And I hope you enjoyed this webinar today. Please feel free on the last minute to ask any question. Unmute yourself, ask your question, or you can write the question on the chat, or you can use the survey link and ask any question later on. We will share with you the recording, we'll share with you the certificate of attendance, and we'll put you in touch with our account manager. If you would like to pilot my lab math, please feel free to reach to us and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you. There is a question in the register link, Ahmed. It says, can I use the same settings on my lab math on my next semester? I mean, like if they can use the same course on the next semester. This is amazing question. Thank you, Toha, for asking this. Uh, the answer is yes. No need to uh, do all the exercises or creating all the assignment from scratch. What you need to do next semester, just copy the course ID, which is here, and go here, create or copy course for my next semester. I'm going to teach this. D don't create a new course, just insert the course ID here. It will be copied again with all the assignments and all the questions that I created for my student. So select uh, a different one and choose Let's say this will be for fall 2023 and choose the start date, end date for this course and create or copy the course. The course will be copied exactly the same with all the assignment uh, in your platform. Very good question. Thanks, Toha. Thank you, Ahmed. Any other questions from your side? I think. We are on time, right? Yes, we are on time. And I don't see any new questions. If they have any, we will be reaching out to them by email. And also we will be in touch with their key account manager. So we can help them after the webinar. Thank you so much, Ahmed. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.